Okay, my boy, right, so a lot of the same stuff and we just got to keep plugging through and figuring it out. Um, but like I said, I just feel like maybe we've lost a little bit of rhythm and balance while we've been fiddling here. Anyway, let's have a look. So obviously the toe line quite pronouncedly out to the right. Shoulders pretty squarish down the left hand side, but obviously not matching, right? And yeah, hovering the club, but looks to me like it's about there. Maybe a touch to the right there. Okay, and then obviously, as I mentioned you on the course, still too deep here. So we're kind of sitting in their heels just a little bit. Okay, so we've got to get rid of that as well. Right, so let's see what happens from there. Uh, we're talking face plane and start line. Okay, so yeah, taking along your toe line, which is then a little bit inside. Didn't get across the line at the top, so that's good, but we've definitely lost... Oh, sorry. We've definitely lost our balance points. Look how you're sitting here. And the hips have leveled out. Okay. And from there you do get it inside. So you do drop it on play and get it inside. Try and close the face. But as we know, this ball actually went to the right, even though it looks like you're a little bit inside. And you're trying to close the face. Because the face is so open here, and because the body position is a little bit out, that ball actually went to the right. Okay, it finished in these trees on the right here. Okay, so we got to, you can see here, yeah, the, the body works just not right. There's just no separation between the low and upper body there. Okay. I know my boy, I'm going to like a um, long weekend and a little trip there. Um, okay, so, I mean, <sighs> It's the same stuff, isn't it? You just got to keep grinding. You obviously haven't done your technical session in the last few weeks, um, and it's just a little bit scrappy. You're trying to fix it on the golf course. It's not really happening. Um, it's predominantly the tee box, isn't it? I mean, the irons are not bad. Uh, it's predominantly the tee box, and then the, the three wood and the, um, and the hybrid. Now, that miss it with the three wood and the hybrid, which I really don't like, okay, is very much coming from that. So as you change direction, you're trying to fake your swing plane, okay, and then you just sit like this, okay, and then you have to swing outside your knees and you just catch it a little bit on that heel. Sometimes it might even be a case of because you're sort of overdoing it with your hand, you just get a little bit almost under the plane, okay, but don't worry about it. What I'm saying is it's more of a body action um, or a body reaction and a poor postural balanced position, right? So make sure we're out. And it's sitting in those heels like that. I don't even know how you do it. Like that. This is how you sitting. Okay. Out. Chest over. Okay. Give yourself some space to drop it into. And most importantly, use your legs and body to drop it. Okay. Don't just go like that. That's not going to work. Okay. There. Alright. Use your legs and your body to drop it. Okay. So as we get to the top legs and body, we're shifting weight, starting to rotate, right elbow is reacting, that's the move we're after, alrighty, okay, so very, very important, a little bit of centre, okay, and then we change direction, like that, so that we get to impact, like that, we're getting to impact, very, very square, no space, no energy in the shaft, okay, it's got to be open, and then release late. Okay, so open is in the hips are clearing, right? Okay. So drop the club with the weight shift. Keep opening the hips. Hips are open, shoulders are square, and then you release the club down the line. Not everything square and releasing the club there. Okay, everything square, releasing the club there. Okay, that's what we've got to get rid of. All right, short game was fine. You said afterwards you weren't feeling great. <laughs> Obviously, this video is out there in the public. 
but you were hanging over, right? <laughs> but chipping, it was fine. Okay, you're just a little bit upright. Okay, you just weren't, you just weren't there, right? And then putting actually is getting better. So we're still aiming a little bit further right than what we should. Okay, but it's, but it's a lot closer to what it should be. And you're now starting to feel when you do pull it. Okay, which means okay, you're gonna be, it's going to be a lot easier for you to aim. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so um, it's, it's not perfect, but it is a hell of a lot better. Okay, but generally still aiming a touch right with the putter and pulling it online. All right, so when you, when you do aim straight and you did aim correctly on some of them, okay, then you were pulling them and you're starting to feel that, um, which is a huge step. Remember, you fix the pull on the backstroke. So once you've lined up correctly, okay, then let the putter arc slightly on the backstroke. Don't take it outside because now you're not aiming right anymore, so you don't need to take it outside and pull it back on line. Okay, if that makes sense. Yes, okay. And obviously that driver, okay, most of the work for us to be done with the driver. It's that technical stuff that I said. Okay, and then it's also just the, uh, the setup and alignment, isn't it? Okay, so we just keep grafting through it. Um, yeah, overall, overall I'm happy. It's predominantly off the tee that is an issue, and with that three wooden hybrid, um, once the once the driver starts misbehaving. Alrighty, Matty, thank you, and I will probably see you tomorrow morning. Okay.